Hey everybody, we're doing balsamic braised chicken in the Dutch oven outside. Here's our ingredients. We're gonna warm up our Dutch oven and we're gonna start by cooking the chicken. We're gonna do uh, in batches. We're gonna brown the chicken on each side for a few minutes and then we're gonna remove it. And we're gonna throw in our onions and garlic and mushrooms, soften, reduce that, stir it around. Looking pretty good. Now we're gonna use uh, frozen baby carrots. So you may wanna use uh, raw carrots, but uh, what's gonna happen here is that our sauce is gonna be a little bit more liquidy so you may want to skip the two cups of chicken broth. But we're going to add a couple of tablespoons of flour anyway, just to thicken things up. And we're going to throw in our balsamic mix, red wine vinegar, cider vinegar. Looking pretty good. We're going to let that warm up and throw in the chicken. We're going to let that cook for about an hour. And while we're waiting, we're going to try out the craft beer that we have prepared for this dish. All right, so for the beer pairing, we've opted for Tatamagush Brewing's a Dreadnought a Black IPA, otherwise known as Cascadian Dark Ale. But basically, it's like an American Pale Ale, but with some darker malts to make it a, a really smooth, drinkable beer. So I think that this beer or any other black IPAs will go well with our dish here, which is balsamic vinegar, apple cider, and red wine vinegar. So it's gonna pucker up your lips, and I think this will do a very good job as counteracting that. Hey, we're back after an hour. Oh man, this looks good, smells good. I think it's time for us to take it off the fire and grab a drumstick and give this a taste. Anyway, let me try the uh, drumstick here. Mmm, that is really good. That's a little bite to it. That's really good. If I had the sauce reduced a little bit more, it would probably be a little bit more intense. I mean, this is a good pairing. Only thing I get at the end is carbonization from from the beer, vinegar, and the black IPA with the malts kind of canceled each other out and that's about it for today the recipe is in the video description leave a comment and we'll see you guys next time